welcome to this um, burger challenge test thing, I guess is what we're going to call it. Um, I'm Jordan, this is my sister Sarah, this is my brother Josh. Uh, so I came up with this silly idea some odd months ago, or it's probably even longer than that. Uh, so what I did was, originally it was going to be small, but it just expanded from there because that's the way my brain works sometimes. Uh, so we went to 10 different burger places, I don't know if you can see that on the list. If you want to try and up close on that. I'm sure you'll see it in this. Uh, so um, uh, Burger King, a and W, Jack in the Box, McDonald's, Big Bun, Carl's Jr., Five Guys, Wendy's. Is Bat Boy only a local here or are they? I think it is. Okay. It's local here. And, uh, and, and, uh, and Sonic. Uh, two of those places, Big Bun and Bat Boy, are only local here. And uh, so as for the burgers that we'll be trying, and uh, this is just what I wrote down in, in notation, uh, A&W's uh, Original Double Bacon, which is raw hay. Look at that wonderful slap of burger that we got. And uh, these are all based on uh, going to various different places. And uh, like I went to two different A&Ws, four different Jack in the Boxes, just to make sure I try to give everybody an equal share on what's popular. And really, upon retrospect, I should have just done what's popular and not a default, because that's kind of meaningless. Um, so I just realized I kind of started this wrong. So. Uh, uh, I mean, I already know from you, but like, what's, you know, traditionally something, I feel like if you guys are hungry for a burger, that you guys go to be it for fast food? For fast food? Yeah. Wendy's. Um, Jack in the Box. Yeah. But if we're, if we want just a burger, we'll go to Big Bun. Hmm. So we always um, go. I've only had Big Bun a couple of times, and I thought it was kind of bland. It tastes almost just like Rusty's from when we were little. Yeah. Their fries don't, but their burgers do. Um, I like their tots. Like the Five Guys reminds me of Rusty's. Mm -hmm. Down home, perfect patty. Yes. Five Guys is, if I'm going to get a burger and I can go wherever I want, it's yeah. going to be Five Guys. Mm. Um, second is, like that's how I'm probably going to end up rating these two, is going to be Wendy's. I think that out of all the fast food places, which I wouldn't put Five Guys in the same category mm -hmm. as Wendy's and McDonald's anyway, but of the fast food places, I think Wendy's has the highest quality of beef. I would agree with that. And we used to go to Wendy's a lot more when there was one right down the street from our house, but there isn't anymore. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, I remember I had Wendy's uh, with you just like several years ago, and I just thought it was just nasty. We'll um, find out how you feel in a few minutes. Um, I mean, either it was you know just a really bad patty that I got, because I just remember it just being dry. And I was like, oh, and, uh, but usually for me, like when I'm, you know, hungry for a burger, like, you know, like I can flip flop a lot, but usually I always go to, uh, you know, I, I always just do the Jack in the Box because I love their seasoned curly fries. So we're going to go ahead and start on down the line here, which start, which will be starting with Bad Boy, which is the Bad Boy Burger. You can just name them as we go. Yeah. And so... Let's go ahead and just get started. Whoa, Jesus Christ, that's heavy. So, do we just want to all do a bite at once, or? Fair. I don't think so either. Oh, that was sloppy. Yeah, yeah. there's like chili on this one. All right. That's a very sloppy burger. It's good. I mean, I think so. What, what do you guys think? Um. No. Aside from the fact that it's a mess. Yeah. There is like way too much on it. You yeah. can't even taste the burger itself. And I kind of can, but I'm, I'm. I mean, for all I know, that's the. I mean, I forget what it got me in a bad boy. I think. It's, I, I know there's... There's bacon. two patties on it, and then there's cheese, bacon, chili, mayo, mustard, ketchup, onions, lettuce, tomatoes, and pickles. I hate pickles. I hate tomatoes. 
I don't like that at all. Aside from the tomato, I thought I, I like Bad Boy. They have good meat. I like yeah. the taste of the meat. Uh, I do agree, there's a little bit too much going on, but yeah. if you like a chili burger, yeah, you like I, c I can't even really taste the chili itself. Same. I'm, I'm not even a fan of the chili. I'm sorry. So, I mean, you know, this was a good choice. For you. <laughs> <laughs> this was a good like, choice. Ah, shit. Oh, well. Alright, so up next will be Big Bun with their. Big Bun Burger. Hopefully that's on camera. Uh, ooh, that's sloppy underneath. Alright. Yeah, they put all their sauce on their bottom bun. Of, of, of course they do. Alright. Salut. Put ham on it? Mm hmm. Looks like it has ham. Mm hmm. We're gonna have sloppy fingers. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Yeah. It is. The sauce is good. It's not overpowering. The I'm bun the is really soft, but it's not dry, so it's not like falling apart. Like it didn't get soggy because it mm -hmm. was sitting for a little bit. Yeah. And That's I'm not the biggest ham fan. I think of ham as like one of the most bland foods. And it's actually really good on this. Mm -hmm. So then what's the difference for you uh, for uh, if you have bacon on your burger? Bacon has so much more flavor, the smoke the and the salt and uh, yeah. the ham. Yeah, true, true. Bacon is pork belly. But Big Bun is everything they do is so good. The my favorite thing about their burgers is the texture. Because there's there's like a balance for the burger. It should be chewy and it should give you a little bit of resistance, but it shouldn't be like impossible to chew on. Um, it shouldn't and, be mushy. Certainly. Yeah, and Big Bun always does a good job with that. I don't think I've had Big Bun since Grandpa's Memorial. Unless we had it the year or two after that when Nancy was in town. Mm -hmm. I just haven't had it in a while. It's way out, you know, away from me. But yeah. Wow, that's... I don't mm -hmm. remember it being that good. That's, yeah. That was really good. It's really good. And they have, Big of one. anywhere that we've ever eaten in this town, their onion rings are the best. They I haven't had their onion rings. They are perfection. Nice. Okay. So. I'll, I'll have to give them a try next time. All right. And we go from that to Jack in the Box. Jack of the Box, <laughs> this is uh, the Jumbo Jack. Um, I was going to get the Bacon Ultimate, but uh, this had, uh, you know, more, uh, you know, more likes on it from the different places that I went to. So I figured, like, well, because I always get uh, the Bacon Ultimate whenever I go there. Well, we have so. several burgers down the line that look like and are built like the Bacon Ultimate, so. Yeah, that are but. basically, you know, Bacon Diarrhea. Per, 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 no, that I should have gone diarrhea that direction. I, that we're eating ten cheeseburgers <clears throat> here. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm picking the lettuce off because the lettuce just looks sketchy. It's Mm-hmm. That's interesting. I'm getting a little bit more flavor out of that one than I, do, than I did with Big Bun or Bad Boy. Really? Yeah. No. I think you're getting no. more salt. <laughs> the bottom bun on my piece had almost completely disappeared. <laughs> So it's almost like there's just dough laying on the. I mean, and that's not necessarily to do with Jack in the Box. It's just because it's been sitting there for a while. You're not missing it. The bun is not nearly as good. It's, mm -mm. It tastes a lot more processed and it's cardboardy. Mm -hmm. The bun doesn't have a great texture. The meat is fairly bland. And mm -hmm. I mean, at this point, it's kind of cold. So that's. Oh well, yeah. That's expected. not their fault, but. Mm -mm. Well, like a lot of these are So far, that's the worst of the three, in my opinion. Like, I would want to go back and take another bite of the big bun, not of that. To get that out of your mouth. Yeah, okay, I need, mean, like... I only get nervous on camera when I'm nude. It's good to know. <laughs> Just for the first few minutes. Alright, so up next, we got the five guys. Which is, uh, this should be the double bacon cheeseburger, mm -hmm. I believe. I have never had Five Guys before. Uh, I've certainly heard their name mentioned, and uh, uh, and uh, you were in fact going on even before the challenge, saying this is going to be the winner. Yeah, for so, me, hand, easy, hands down. So here we go. I'm trying to get the bottom bun, but they always keep like good lord. Look at the bacon on the bottom. I never get bacon on my burger here. I just get a burger. Uh, I love bacon on the burger. Mm -hmm. I have a mouthful. 
Because I can taste either the grill part of it. Finish, finish chewing. Finish chewing first. It grows me out. <laughs> I mean, it's probably the combination of the bacon too, but yeah, that's good. That's really good. That is really good. I don't know how comfortable you feel with me saying this on camera, but I learned that you loved Five Guys when you were in the hospital. And I came to see you and I was hanging out and it was just you and I for a little while. I don't remember where mom and dad and everyone had gone. And we were chatting, it was after you were started feeling a little bit better. So you know, is there anything I can do for you? And you kind of smiled and you tilted your head and you said, yeah, <laughs> there is. And I said, what do you want? And you went, I want a double cheeseburger from Five Guys. So tell me what you want on it. So I went to Five Guys. I think their meat is very high quality. Very. And the way they cook it, they always get this nice caramelization on the outside. That and crunch. And the, and the cheese is excellent. It's always melty and gooey. Mm -hmm. I think they use a high quality bun. I actually think Big Bun, uh, that's a better bread. But yeah. this is definitely better than Jack in the Box. Mm -hmm. bread. At well, least for the jumbo jack. Yeah. And like with with the Bad Boys and the Jack in the Box, and I'm looking at the Sonic Burger, there's so much stuff on it that you taste all the stuff. Mm -hmm. And with this, what you taste overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, I can't speak, is the hamburger itself, which is very, very good. Yeah, so. and with this one, it's like the the accoutrement are complementary to the meat, yeah. as opposed to, hey, how about all this lettuce? And then you can taste a little bit of You meat. can put all of this stuff on there because the burger's this big and it doesn't taste very good. Right. Yeah. I am not looking forward to this what do you one. Think? <laughs> uh, well, um, I don't properly have the words, but yeah, um, um, there was really good taste in there. Uh, uh, the good texture, um, a lot more than what I got from the Five Guy or uh, the, the the Bad, bad Boy. Boy. I mean, which was just kind of mush with a burger in there. You went back for a second bite of that. Yeah, I did. Uh, that was really good. Um, I'm trying to be really good and only take one bite of each, and then I'm yeah. Back there's a lot to go. Yeah, there same. is. Yeah. There's okay. Yeah. All right, and uh, more. okay, here we go. Sonic, uh, which is just the regular cheeseburger, I believe. Right. Yes. Yep. Thank you. Um, yeah. Sonic cheeseburger. Uh, I've only ever had Sonic once and I didn't much care for it. It, it, it I, I, I remember like if I could describe it as like the most stereotypical bland burger I'd had. Really? And so... I love their drinks, I just don't eat there. Yeah. So. Um, I've never really had their drinks, so... They're not my favorite burger, but I always like them. Alright. Okay. That's not bad. Got a big taste of onion in that bite. Yeah. Take the pickle off. One thing about a Sonic burger is they're not shy about onions and pickles. Mm -hmm. And which can sometimes overpower it. But I do think they have pretty high quality meat and well, That's, it's a good burger. It is good. It's not even with all the stuff on it, it's not soggy. Yeah. It tastes um, that wasn't bad. Mm -mm. It's it's not over salted, which in a lot of times with fast food, when you think traditional fast food places, they use a ton of salt on their meat. That's really good. I'm I'm surprised. That's the one I was least looking forward to eating. Yeah, that's good. I mean, so far though, I'm out of taste. Uh, for me, I would go Five Guys, Jack, uh, and uh, and Big Bun. Okay. Um, those were good, and this was certainly higher higher up there so far in terms of taste. This is but it's also probably on the same you know, like, you know, like in between those two for for me personally. Yeah. I can't talk. I thought you were done, sorry. Five sorry, guys okay. is doesn't have a drive through. You go into yeah. town. It's an eight dollar burger as opposed mm -hmm. to like wow. a I think this this one is four fifty or four sixty or something I think like this that. One's so three it is something. a little bit of a cuddle bunch. Mm -hmm. Alright so, I'm I'm excited for this because the Big Mac is like my guilty pleasure. Yeah, it's a trash burger. <laughs> it's but, total trash. But sometimes it hits the spot. <laughs> and every now and then you just have to have it. 
I don't yes. know if I and I will almost always get it. It's a gut bomb, and I'll eat the <laughs> I'll eat the Big Mac. I'll eat the That's fries. I feel I'll drink about. the Coke, and an hour later, I'm cursing the world with regret. And then the next time you pull into that drive-through, you're like, yes. Yep. Here we go. What? That one right there. I'm not. I'm not sure if I've ever had the Big Mac, but I've really? eaten what? plenty of. Oh, dude. Big old fucking pickle. This is happy. Mm-hmm. It's a McDonald's burger. Mm-hmm. It's a Big Mac. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's those little tiny dehydrated onions. I don't know what it is about those things, but they're just. I'm gonna grab myself a drink. I'll be right back. Uh, so Big Mac, um, this is a McDonald's burger out of me, you know, the sauce and the patty, uh, cause usually whenever, like, like when I would go there regularly, I'd always get uh, the bacon paste burger, which they don't have anymore, so. Yeah, try that. <clears throat> uh, My go-to for years was the double quarter pounder with cheese, uh -huh. which you introduced me to, mm -hmm. and I loved it, and then... At the moment we went to Mom and Rod's wedding, I ate one on the way up to the hall, yep. and I got so sick that you night, got and I haven't thing. eaten one since, uh -huh. until a few weeks ago I had one, for the first time in 20, what was that? 20, 22 years. 22 years, 23, 23 years. years, yeah. Year. And it was really good. It was mm -hmm. better than the Big Mac. And I will probably rate the Big Mac pretty low amongst all these burgers, while admitting it's a guilty pleasure that yeah. sometimes I just crave. Yeah. When I, I think it's mostly sorry. the special sauce that does it. It is. And like I said, the little dehydrated onions. Like at McDonald's, the quarter pounder is probably like my standard go-to. But the little onions on the little cheeseburgers, I'm a total texture person. And so the texture of the little tiny onions on there is just perfect. I just love that. So, mm. But what I've eaten lately at McDonald's, every time I go, is I get the filet of fish. Yeah. Every time I go lately, and I remember when we were kids, because we're all old enough that when we were little, McDonald's still had the little styrofoam clam containers, and I loved the filet fish because the clam container was blue. Mm -hmm. I loved what a pretty blue the clam container was, so I ordered the filet fish every time. And I like the filet of fish anyway. Mm -hmm. Also, Again, Big Mac has those, like, of all the meats we're going to eat today, I think the Big Mac we can agree is the lowest quality. Probably. Uh, it yeah. seems like they mix a bunch of sawdust and paper mache in with the meat to stretch it out and make mm -hmm. more of it. And then there are these flat little like air hockey discs mm -hmm. of meat and they're kind of dry with and they're more so or less flavorful. If you much salt on them. If you took a oh. Big Mac apart <laughs> and ate just a bite of the meat, mm -hmm. you probably wouldn't eat much more of it. Probably not. You might like, dry it out and use it as a coaster. Mm -hmm. But but when it's all together with the special sauce and everything else, it's there's something about it. It just works. Yeah, and the fake plastic cheese. Right. It's like guilty pleasure. Uh, when I went there uh, the other day, um, well, while I was out doing research, uh, I got um, this brand new burger that they were showing off. I forget what it's called, but it was uh, you know it was a double patty. Uh, had you know bacon and then uh, like onion straws on top. Uh, uh, you know, of course, you know, going from burger place to burger place is like, God, I'm getting hungry. You know, you know, I've never had that before. Maybe I'll give it a try. And yeah, I'm trying. It's like, yeah, it, it's okay. Onion straws at McDonald's. Yeah. Kind of. They're trying. Yeah. They're trying. All right. So All right, where, where do next up? Let's Carl's go for Jr. the Carl's Jr. Uh, I forget what this is. I, I, I believe it's a double, it's the, double western. It's the western because there's barbecue sauce, there's onion rings, there's some. There's bacon. There's some stuff going on here. Yeah. I'm not sure if I've had this before because I know like I had one, its one barbecue. Put me in your mouth. Alright. Okay, that's the onion ring. Tongue sticking out your face. Oh my. All I can taste is the onion ring and the barbecue sauce. Same. <clears throat> um, but I like it. It's okay. I think Carl's Jr. uses, yeah, Carl's Jr. uses good meat, 
But for some reason to me, their burgers never seem to come together as well. Like it's all these individual things that don't come together that well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, I, and it's, I knew this was going to happen because I've had this burger before, but <clears throat> with the Western burger, I think the barbecue sauce is so powerful that it just overpowers everything else and that's all you can taste. Mm -hmm. You have meat texture and then barbecue sauce taste and that's it. Yeah. Well, and the other thing I can taste okay. on mine is, and a lot of times with, when you have a place that cooks everything on a flat griddle, it gets that kind of crunch on the outside but the cooking is a little bit more even. But I know they use the, you know, it's a, it's a charbroiled burger and the flames and all this other stuff, which is great, but it runs the risk of, especially if they're in a hurry, of tasting burnt. And, the, and it, that was the, I can't handle things that are even a little bit burnt. Like if my toast is even too brown, I get that burnt taste in my mouth and I cannot handle it. So for me, that's, I don't tend to eat a Burger King and I don't tend to eat a Carl's Jr. because that burnt flavor just ruins everything yeah, for me. I think, I think Burger King is a lot more guilty of that than Carl's Jr. And that's why I'm coming into this, I was pretty sure Burger King is gonna be the very bottom of my list. Mm -hmm. and like I'll eat a chicken, like if I go to Burger King, I'll get like a chicken sandwich or whatever, because mm -hmm. they're one of the only fast food places that have a veggie burger. Okay. Wendy's started a, like a year or two ago, they came out with this black bean patty that they were going to trip, but they only tried it at select restaurants around the country and they didn't end up adopting an Asian market. And I was excited because I love Wendy's anyway, my wife is vegetarian. Burger King has a veggie burger. So if we're going to hit a fast food place and get something for everybody, usually go to Burger King, I'm gonna get chicken because their beef tastes charred. It tastes it's just too much. Char broiled, you're damn right. <laughs> Do you want to eat it next so we can get it out sure, of the way yeah, so it's not the last right. thing that you have? The Whopper? The Whopper. Assuming? Whopper. Okay. And I just ordered a Whopper and I told them no tomato, so I don't think there's any cheese on it. Yeah, I think you have, to, you have to order the cheese. I'm always getting greeted Water. by giant pieces of pickle. Me too. Wow, there's a ton of mayo. There's, oh my there. god, yeah. there's a lot of pickles on there. Lots of pickles. <laughs> okay, some days in the summertime, that's the taste that you want, it is. That grilled, fiery, mm -hmm. charred. Theirs is always a little bit too much of it. Mm -hmm. And there's so much pickle. It's like pickles and burning is what I think. <laughs> 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 you know, it sounds really good for dinner. <laughs> Pick up the cucumbers and the flames. Yeah, that's, yeah. it's passable. That's it's okay. not as bad as I thought it was. Gonna no, be, yeah. I think it would be better with cheese on it, but then that's not the burger, that's the cheese. So, um, and I, sorry. I like for a while, you know, whenever I, you know, would get a burger for a while. I mean, uh, but like every time I would go to Burger King, I'd always get um, a Whopper with fries and a hot dog. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure like if we were to compare their hot dogs, it's probably like, eh. but um, yeah, it was, it was okay. It was a burger. It was a Whopper. Do they still have hot dogs? I think so. I'm not sure. I haven't been there in a while. Didn't McDonald's briefly experiment with hot dogs and pizza? Yeah, and it failed miserably. Right. Alright. The a and <laughs> God, that looks like a mess. Uh, this looks almost more of a mess uh, as the Bad Boy Burger was. Looks like the best lettuce I've seen today. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe this is the double cheese bacon. Burger. That's what it looks like. Uh, that, that bun just does not want to slice. Stunning. All right. You don't look happy. It's good. It's actually. It's a little cold. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's our fault. Well, none of these were going to stay warm. Yeah, the bun isn't the highest <laughs> quality, but overall the meat has a good taste. The bacon's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not overpoweringly really salty. Mm -mm. I remember one of the last times I had an a w years ago, like back when uh, the, there was an A&W at the mall. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and I remember I used to love their fries. And I remember I had it, and again, uh, like with Wendy's, it was just dry as hell. And it's just like, what the hell is this? It tastes like they garbage. Did. They have really good fries, and what I used to like to do when I worked at the mall was I would just get the regular cheeseburger, take the bun off, lay my fries on the on burger, it. put the top bun back on, and ate it like that. Good. What was the name of that fast food place that was in Phoenix that I loved? Rallies. Rallies. Um, I remember they had really good fries. Yeah, of course, that was a long time ago. I'm sure if we tried it now, we'd probably be like, yeah, the fries are good. The burger's kind of crap. Well, the burgers were good, too. I mean, I mean, hopefully not. I, I, you know, cause like, that's always you know what seems to be the thing about nostalgia. Uh, um, like when, like, oh, man, I, I used to love this. Da, 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 da. And then you know, you're an adult, and you get to try it again. Like, Good as I remember it being. Some things are, but a lot sometimes. Of things are. But yeah. All right. So last burger of the day. Uh, at least we're not gonna have to worry about lunch. But um, probably be worrying about other things too. It's the Wendy's Baconator. <laughs> oh, you got the Baconator. It's yeah. huge. Uh, well, because like there were a few mm -hmm. other. Choices. Uh, I mean, this one wasn't high on the list, but it was Baconator or Junior Baconator. So I just said, screw it, I'll just do Baconator. So I do like bacon on my burger. So this should be interesting. Patties are much huge. bigger than they no normally are from <coughs> any other burger. Done. <coughs> Excuse me. That was a mouthful. <laughs> we got to edit through this chewing. I know. Not <laughs> like 10 seconds of us just. Uh, oh no no no! I'm, I'm gonna grab like close-ups of us chewing. Go to hell. <laughs> you go straight to hell. I'll put a copyright claim on your video. Mm -hmm. I'll kick you with the balls. You want to make? That's. This is gonna sound so mean because I like Wendy's. That's like the definition of okay. Yeah. 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 Like if you want a textbook definition of something that's just okay, it's not good. It's not bad. It's just. I okay. think if it were hot and fresh, you'd have a slightly different opinion. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I think uh, I was expecting Wendy's to come in at my number two. Mm -hmm. But the burger I always get there is the number two, which doesn't have bacon. It's a double cheeseburger mm -hmm. with just plain regular toppings. And the meat is so good. This one is this tower of meat that's so tall I could barely open my mouth wide up side. Yeah. There's so much meat. I mean, it was it's a good meat taste. They have high quality meat there. I think mm -hmm. it's the highest quality of all the fast food places yeah. outside of Five Guys. And theirs is, typically when you get a Wendy's, like a double cheeseburger, and you bite into it, what it has that like McDonald's doesn't have and Jack in the Box and Burger King don't have is when you grill a burger at home and you take a bite, a bite out of it and there's that little bit of juice that comes out with it, mm -hmm. Wendy's usually has that, which usually makes it a spectacularly messy eat. You know, you open the wrapper and there's all the juice in the bottom of the wrapper so that by the time you get to that last bit, it's kind of going down the back of your hand. But this doesn't. I don't know if it's because it's the last one and it's been... An hour and a half and since I, it was purchased. And <laughs> it's been sitting on the counter. But the bun isn't all squishy and messy like I would think that it would be, which like kind of leads me to think that maybe it was a little dry in the first place, but it's it's okay. It's not, I don't hate it. Yeah. And I'm not gonna not eat a Wendy's anymore, but yeah, it's well, just kind like, of okay. There were I never quite, ordered this burger. Me neither. Yeah, <clears throat> um, well, and like, there were quite a few previous burgers where the buns were just pretty soggy, especially yeah. at the bottom, <clears throat> which made it kind of difficult, but, mm -hmm. um, Bun is important when you're eating very. a burger. It's very, very important. Uh, that's why I got mad the other night uh, when I was uh, hungry for a burger from the barbecue that we did the other day and we did empty freaking buns. Sorry. And I was like, God damn it, really? But it was still good There's burgers. Nothing was... more sad on the planet than having to eat a burger between two slices of bread. <laughs> it's no, just... no, 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 no. 
Uh, it's not the same. It's not. Even though it's made of the exact same stuff. Yeah. So, uh, all right. Do we want to pause for a second and then think and rate these, or how do you want to do this? Uh, let's go ahead and just start rating. All right. So after. Uh, so after a little bit of uh, de deliberation, I can't talk. Uh, so let's start with least to best. Okay. Uh, so you start first. Jack in the Box number ten, which I didn't expect. Worst. I thought Burger King would be the worst, but Jack in the Box was the worst. It was not good, bland. The bread was cardboardy. Mm. Really didn't care for it. All right. Uh, my number ten was the bad boy. So was mine. It was just <clears throat> mushy and very little flavor. I think it's because of all the stuff that was on it, though. I, I wonder, yeah. with Bad Boy, if we had just gotten a cheeseburger just without all the stuff on it, how without different it would have been. Um, been Plus, if you're in the mood for a chili burger, you're going to eat it when you get it, not mm -hmm. an hour later. That's a bad idea. Yeah. So, oh. I think Bad Boy, maybe, with an asterisk. Yeah, definitely. With it. But but for today, just based on what we ate today, yeah. not like how we right. normally feel about those places. But right. Bad Boy was number ten for me. Okay, number nine, Burger King. Burning and pickles. That's, that's <laughs> all I got. That's not great. Jack in the Box. Uh, my number nine was Sonic. Okay. Okay. Like well, you said, it was all right. Yeah. So from yeah, this point just, up, you would probably finish the burger if you had been served it for dinner. Probably. It, uh, well, like the funny thing is too is that like I kind of like forgot about Sonic. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of forgettable. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, like nowhere you know, you know, like bad or anything like that. But it was just kind of forgettable. All right. Uh, okay, number eight. Big Mac, with the caveat that it is a an occasional guilty pleasure. Yeah. But it's still it's just not a great burger. Carl's mm -hmm. Jr. Burning and pickles. <laughs> Okay. Uh, my number eight was Wendy's. Okay. Okay. All right. Surprising. All right, number seven. seven. Here's where I put the bad boy burger in. I even drew an asterisk to say that yeah. it was a mushy ass chili burger, and if yeah. it had been just a plain burger, I probably would have liked it a little better. Okay. Yeah, I do eat that. <clears throat> you says? Burger King. All right. Uh, number seven was uh, Burger King for me. Okay. Uh. Um, I should, you know, say again. I don't. I don't remember if I did at the beginning of the video, but this is all purely just based off of, you know, what is popular. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and many places did have different, you know, things like, oh well, uh, like for McDonald's, they kept on saying oh, that like the McChicken is the most popular, which kind of threw me off. Uh, uh, that's your most popular burger. Okay, I'll put it on the list. Okay, number six. But for me, from this point up, I would finish the burger. Mm. So the bottom ones, like I, I finish a Big Mac, but it's a pretty low quality burger. The bad boy burger was not good. But from here on up, I would eat it. Okay. So number six for me was the Carl's Jr. I did not think it tasted as burny as the <laughs> Burger King one. Okay. It was just okay, but okay. it wasn't bad. I would, I would probably eat the rest of it. Mm. My number six was A&W. Just okay. Excuse me. Uh, my number six is McDonald's. Okay. Uh, it didn't leave a lasting impact on me. It was, you know, a McDonald's burger, which I'm yeah. perfectly fine with. Um, and number five, Sonic. Wendy's. Uh, Big Bun. Okay. For me, um, because I remember like in the like last couple of times I've had a Big Bun burger, it didn't, you know, it was just like, yeah. Um, Okay. Okay. So. Cool. Hey, uh, number four. Wendy's for me, which I expected to come in at number two, but right. it was that Baconator, it was a whole lot of meat. It was tasty. Yeah. It has yeah. a good taste to the ingredients, a little much, but I would I would have eaten the rest of it if it was my dinner. Mm. For me, from four <clears throat> up is where I would have finished it. And for me, um, number four is McDonald's. Even though it was cold, I it's like the Big Mac even when it's cold, it's those stupid dehydrated onions in the plastic cheese. They make me happy. Sorry, I'm a total trash bag, okay. and I know well, it, and I don't care. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, my number four is A&W. Okay. All right. Uh, 
the funny thing is, is that in, in, in this point, I don't know if it's because all the grease and fat is going right to my brain, so I can't even begin to, you know, decipher or even yeah. differentiate all the burgers that we just had. So, it's like, yeah, A&W was, was pretty good. I don't remember the burger itself, actually. I do remember the taste and liking it. Okay, number three. Uh, A&W, which surprised me. I never go there. Or if I do, I get, you know, a root beer float and some cheese curds, because their cheese curds are amazing. Order their cheese curds. This video is um, not sponsored in any way or anything like that. <coughs> yeah, uh, send me a t-shirt, A&W, because I'm sure you're going to watch this. What uh, season curly fries? Okay. A&W, mm -hmm. I was surprised. It was it was good. It was it had a good taste. It was a little cold, but mm -hmm. again, that was nobody's fault. So they came in at number three. Mine was Sonic, because I was surprised. I was genuinely surprised by how much I liked it. Hmm. So, and that's definitely something I would eat again, with less stuff on it. Yeah. You know, ease up on the pickles and the onions, I might just order it plain. I might order it with just ketchup, but... Lettuce. Maybe not. I don't know. Right. I'm weird about lettuce and burgers. I like that crisp crunch of the lettuce. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a bit. Uh, my, my number three is Carl's Jr. Okay. okay. Um, I liked it. Uh, I've actually had two different barbecue burgers, one from them and then one from another place, it's probably Burger King, and I remember it was just overwhelming over at Burger King. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Jack of the Box, or, or, or Carl's Jr., I mean, uh, it was just the right amount, you know, of barbecue sauce. Okay. Okay, number two. Big one. Big one. Really? Which surprised me, because <laughs> I haven't eaten there in so long, and it, it was so me. good, and the bread was so good. It was great. It I mean, was, it was pretty good. Really their, surprised me. I liked it. Their double cheeseburgers are perfection. Like the uh, and, uh, and yeah, our cameraman. He's <laughs> the the thickness. It's appropriate. The thickness of I them. The thickness. With the th matched with the thickness of the bun, it's for Valentine's Day. We don't go out to like big fancy restaurants or anything. We go to Big Bun, we get double cheeseburgers, we get onion rings, and we're happy. So it's so Big romantic. Bun. The only reason Big Bun isn't my one is because I never get the single because the bun overwhelms it because the bun is so good. I was end up pulling the bun off the single, so. Your number two? My number two is Jack in the Box. Okay. You um, love, that's your go-to place though. You love yeah, that place. Um, and I've never actually had uh, the Jumbo Jack before, uh, so I was kind of surprised. It's like that, apparently when I was going to you know different places for research, everybody kept on saying, yeah, the Jumbo Jack is really popular. I was like, oh, okay. I think it's because it's like $2 or a dollar. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah really I mean, it's cheap. You buy it with the change you find on the floor of your car. Are you going to take Josh's suggestion and try the stoner tacos? Oh, I will. I will. Okay. Well, well, hell, I'm, I'm, I'm already planning on doing a sequel where we do tacos. Take two presents yeah. before you eat the I was going to say, we're going to have to have, like, a counter full of pharmaceutical assistance yeah. if we're going to do a taco challenge from various places. Oh, Dude. Okay, number Kay. one. Five guys. Five guys. Yeah, it looks like we're unanimous. I think we are. I think that's uh, the only one we're unanimous that? on. Yeah, that was really good. It's the only one that we haven't thrown in the trash. Yeah. It's still sitting on the counter, like, might... I might reheat it later, later and, yeah. you know, and have some more bites. Uh, yeah, I've never had Five Guys before. Uh, I mean, I was aware of it. I mean, this is going to sound shitty. Uh, but, you know, like, every time I drove by it, uh, you know, and, I mean, like, especially with a sign, like, Five Guys, you know, you always think, like, oh shitty, tiny, little restaurant, you know, it's probably just run by like three people or whatnot, but, uh, you know, then, you know, you start hearing its name tossed around and then people like, are like, oh my god, their fries and their burgers are so good, it's like, really? Yeah, oh my god, I love Five Guys. Uh, and so for this challenge, you know, I thought that would be interesting, and like, I wanted to give everybody, you know, a good, proper, fair shake, in fact, I do feel bad about because I wanted to go out and hit up a few more places, because I just ran out of time. <laughs> well, you can't even uh, I say that, no, 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 um, I don't mean like, oh, like, let's order a shit ton more burger. No, 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 uh, I, I mean in terms of research, because like, I, I hit up five five different McDonald's, right? And like four different uh, Jack in the Boxes and Burger Kings. Just like asking them about? Yeah. Oh, okay. Carl's Jr., I only got one. Okay. And uh, and and bad boy, I only got one. Well, you know, there's probably some polling data somewhere online that you could find fairly easily that talks yeah. about 
what some of the more popular things are that people buy. And the other thing too is, you know, you have a mix of local places in yes. here and a, mix, and a couple of regional places and then national and international food chains. Yeah, which so, is probably a little unfair. And there are things that we didn't include, like um, more like higher end national chains, like Five Guys, you have Smashburger. We have a lot of other local places like the Viking and the Golden Wheel and the Wave that aren't Burger on stash. here. Burger Stash. Burger Stash. Zim's Burger um, Stash. Uh, Hawkins Packout. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Hawkins is, it's up on Bogus Basin Road. It's, I've never been up there. It's amazing. West Side Driving. But it's a super far drive from everybody. And those are all very different from McDonald's, Wendy's, A and yeah. yeah. conveyor belt burgers as opposed to a mom and pop little Hawkins pack out there grilling it in the back themselves kind of thing. They also tend to be slightly older, they tend to be a little bit more expensive, but and so it's hard to judge those things in there together, but that's absolutely something you can do. Yeah, like I feel like it's not fair to put a five guys burger up against the Big Mac. Agreed. Because yeah, but this burger costs higher? Yeah. No. But the five guys burger costs twice as much. It takes longer to prepare, there's no drive through it's a very different experience. It is. But there's a lot more quality in it, too. Yeah. Which exactly. is why it's not necessarily fair to compare them yeah. on the same list. I mean, but but if you're a burger person, you're going to tend to eat at those places. Like, I know. So, so, you know, I, I probably go to fast food places slightly more than I go to our local places, which I dislike. Um, but usually, if I'm going to a drive through for anything, it's because I'm in an insane hurry. I'm either eating in my car or I'm pulling over really quick and eating in a parking lot somewhere because I have somewhere I have to be or I have 20 minutes at home and I'm changing my clothes and getting ready to do something while I'm cramming food in my mouth and it's not something I'm gonna sit down and enjoy. So, you know, if I'm gonna go to Big Bun, I'm gonna take it home, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna turn on a baseball game, I'm going to leisurely eat my fries and do the thing where you eat the fry and then you use the fry to smear the fry sauce on the burger and then you take another bite of the burger. And so there's a huge difference with the way that that stuff gets eaten. Mm. So. so probably two follow-up sequels then? We'll hit up uh, to some other places and then we'll do another sequel about tacos. Let's do something in between. The well, like we're not going to do that, you know, like right else. away or anything like that. Let's It'll do be... another food in between there. Yeah. Cheesecake like, challenge. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't really even like cheesecake all that much. Get Dude, out of my no. grandmother's house. <laughs> what? Dude, that's... What? Whose child are you? <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. See ya. Uh, uh, actually... Okay, please um, stop waving goodbye to people like this. Please stop going... Uh, see, don't... Never high-five a rabbi. <laughs> Just... Dude. Either do it with the other hand or like palm up. Stop saying See, please, 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 please. no. Uh, so I forgot to mention in the video. Um, you know, what are your guys' favorite restaurants? Uh, like, what do you guys like? Uh, you know, if you're in the mood for fast food, please let me know in the comments below. And see you next time.